Not only is Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas the world's largest cruise ship, but it's also a pretty great museum of modern art, with over 13,000 works of art on board. Let's explore some of the most impressive ones. This is called Beetlesphere. It's based on a 1953 Volkswagen Beetle. It's right in the center of the Royal Promenade, the big atrium in the center of Symphony of the Seas. The largest art piece in the Royal Promenade is known as Paradox Void. It features 1,200 mirrors, 200 interactive lights, and it weighs three tons. It makes a pretty great backdrop for a photo of yourself. This piece called Dryer Wig was inspired by a hair dryer at a beauty salon and it's one of several art pieces on board incorporating music. Here's another one. This is called Sound Shell, featuring soothing music in an interactive experience. The two elevator towers on board are 16-story tall art galleries. This one with 19 acrylic bubbles is called Imagine. And this one featuring thousands of colorful fabrics is known as Kites. Here is an imaginative art piece unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's called Chef's Number no. 3 and it's an intriguing look at three chefs drawing a peacock. Sprinkled around the ship in four different locations are these sculptures known as the Deep Divers. And the largest work of art on board Symphony of the Seas at 780 square meters in size is known as the Big Wonder. It can be found inside the adults-only solarium at the front of the ship. Symphony of the Seas is an Oasis-class ship, very similar to her sisters Harmony of the Seas, Allure of the Seas, and Oasis of the Seas. And if you've ever sailed on one of those ships, you'll find a lot of familiar features on board, such as Central Park, which really sets this class of ship apart from any other cruise ship in the world. A great place to relax and enjoy some fresh air, and quite beautiful whether you visit during the daytime or at night. It's one of my favorite places on board an Oasis-class ship. Another favorite neighborhood on board is the Boardwalk. The old-fashioned carousel is the centerpiece of the Boardwalk and is something enjoyed by both the young and the young at heart. I don't think my wife and I could imagine cruising on an Oasis-class ship without riding the carousel at least once. The boardwalk is also home to a pretty amazing water show at the Aqua Theater. And if you go down the incredible slide known as the Ultimate Abyss, which by the way is not a water slide, it's a dry slide, You'll have a heck of a great ride sliding down a 216-foot tunnel with lights and sound. And when you get to the bottom, you'll be in the boardwalk, which I should also mention is the place to go for delicious, casual food. There's Johnny Rockets, a throwback to the 1950s when a burger joint like this was normal in just about any American town. And you've got to like Sugar Beach, which is not just full of all sorts of candy, but this is also the place for some great ice cream, too. And the best casual food on board Symphony of the Seas might just be at Playmakers, the sports bar. Are you hungry? Let's see if I can make your mouth water a little bit here as we look at some of the food offered at Playmakers. And it's not just all about the food either. There are lots of games and activities of Playmakers too to keep you entertained. And speaking of casual food, up on deck 15, you'll find El Loco Fresh, the place to go for casual Mexican food at no extra charge. 
Symphony of the Seas is based in Miami, Florida, and mostly does seven-night Caribbean cruises, but also offers a few three- and four-night cruises, too. And she'll even offer some cruises to the fantastic new private island that Royal Caribbean is developing in the Bahamas, known as Coco Cay. It's not fully complete yet, but the plans look amazing, and I can't wait to enjoy a perfect day at Coco Cay someday. I'm Jim Zim, a bit of a cruise fanatic myself, having done 44 cruises so far, and quite a few more planned in the months and years ahead. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. That lets YouTube know that it's a good video they should recommend to other people. And it lets me know that I should be making more cruise videos. Here are links to a few of my other cruise videos. Click on one of these links and sit back and enjoy another video and dream of a little vacation.